Hey guys, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Today's video is one more example of how the back coloring of a mica powder painted mold will look. However, I'm not going to use chameleon powders today. I want to show you with just normal mica powder. If you paint this color on expecting to get this color, I'm going to fill one with black, one with white, one with clear, and one tinted blue, kind of to go with the color. We're going to flip them out and see exactly what we're going to get because a lot of people think that you have to fill them with black for some reason. And some people have asked me how I can back that up that you don't fill them with black and how come you're saying it gets dulled. Well, I've done it before. It gets dulled, especially if you don't top coat it with any clear. So these are the smallest um, molds I can find. This goes to a little Ferris wheel. I haven't done the Ferris wheel yet, but it's only probably two ounces of, of resin to do this little experiment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this very pretty blue color, normal mica powder. It's not color changing, nothing. I'm just going to paint it on all these little, these are little bulbs actually. I'm going to paint it on here. Like I said, I'm going to fill it. This is just a learning experience today. Nothing, you know, that you're going to want to keep or anything. I mean, I could probably use these for something if you wanted to. Give me some ideas on what I can do with them. <laughs> Since I am going to be having these laying around now that I'm doing it. So, um, like I said, same color mica. Not color changing, so it doesn't always get vibrant when you fill them with black. And I, I just want to show you what I'm talking about. And then we will get back on into videos with some cool things to make. So I'm just going to get these real quick painted on. And then we'll get some resin mixed up. I have added the clear in one just to see how much it's going to take. I was almost dead on. It only takes a half ounce. And that was a little bit too much. So I did over, over pour it a little bit. So now I know just under a half to mix the rest of them. So I'm just going to mix these up one at a time. And pour them in and then we will unmold tomorrow and see what we got so this one is going to be the blue i'm trying to use the same cup so i don't have to go through a whole bunch of cups for no reason i mean a reason but you know what i mean i just want to tint this one blue that's not quite tinted enough let me get a um an opaque color says sapphire blue. I just want to see what it's going to look like if we kind of match the mica powder to the blue resin. Hmm. 
That should be good. Let me check it on a um, paper towel. If you don't know what it looks like, get, get your paper towel and you'll kind of know. So that's perfect. Now I'm just going to pour the blue in. And I have too much blue. Now I'll do white and black. All right. Wipe this off. That out of the way. All right, I'm using just resin. I'll use the other side. White pigment paste. Make sure you mix it first. This one is titanium white, I think it's called. Yeah, titanium white. I like this one for my waves and ocean waves. It makes nice ocean waves. So this should settle a lot of debates on what it's going to do to our mica powders. Oh, look, I overfilled that one too. Jeez. I'll get that fixed in just a minute. Get that little thing filled up just in case I figure out what to do with these things. All right, let me get a paper towel and somehow if you overfill, you can kind of soak it up with a paper towel. I'm just trying not to get it in the other ones or what's the point on the whole trial and error. Okay, now I'm going to do black. With just resin black pigment paste. And you can really just do whichever colors you have because that's what you would be filling yours in with anyway. You don't have to go out and get these. Whoop, almost went into the clear one. And I probably went too much in there. Okay. We're going to let those sit and we will see you tomorrow. They're all cured, ready to unveil. Which one do you want to start with? I think we're going to start with the clear. Let's see the differences. Actually, I'm going to take them all out. We're going to do them one at a time. Whoop, don't peek. This will be the shortest video in the history of Glitz and Glitter, but informational. Okay, let's do, okay, we'll do the clear. All right. So it's okay. It's definitely not shiny. It's it's not bad though. It's transparent. But it, it didn't doll it doll it like I don't know. It's okay. It's just okay. Now let's see it next to this is the blue. Remember, this is the same mica powder. So that's a prettier blue color. Um it's not shiny. I guess it would be if you top coated it. Okay, now the white. Again, it's it's not shiny, not like the chameleon powders are, but it's still blue. But look at the difference in color blue. 
All right, now, how am I gonna do this? Now the black. That is what I'm talking about. Look how dull that color is. This almost looks the same as this blue one. That is not a color, I mean, and you can see all the brush marks too, I noticed. So those are the difference, clear, blue, white, and black. That is what I'm talking about. It dulls the color. Let me grab the chameleon and I'll show you the black. This one is the black one. It's a brighter color with chameleon powders and it's shiny. But on regular mica, it's a completely different story. This was the black one. And... This was the clear one. If you didn't see this video, it is up uh, yesterday, I think. I'll link it below if you want to watch it. So this is the clear one, which is still shiny. So the chameleon powders make a big difference. So if you're just using regular mica powders, it's, um, it's, a, different, it's a different outcome. And here is the white with chameleon powders. This also I will link below if you want to see this video. These, I think, is beautiful. The gold is not chameleon. The gold was a metallic, which came out gorgeous. But that's the chameleon. So there's a huge difference between regular mica and chameleon powders. So I hope you got something out of this video. Give me a thumbs up. If you did, leave me a comment. If you have not done so, please subscribe. To all you subscribers, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye.